chilly. Temperatures in the mid 50s, but that's a story for the 23 year old right hander tonight. Strike three called. Got him swinging on a breaking ball. Back to back strikeouts from Malley. These kind of conditions. Straight away center field, and Hamilton is there sliding to get it. Brandon McCarthy's 34 years old. He grew up in Colorado and went to college in Colorado. So he's probably pitched in weather a lot worse than tonight. He won't reach his first time tonight. One, two, three. Been more strikeouts than base hits. There's ball four. Being more frequently inside. Got him swinging on a breaking ball after the pitch up and in. You experience failure like you've never had it. Gone swinging is Dansby, and that will end the inning. And this one served in the left field. That'll fall in a base hit. Nice piece of hitting there by Studer. And he's aboard to begin the second inning. Sinking liner into right, and a diving play made by Marquez. is Beautifully done by the Atlanta right fielder. Taking away a hit from Adam Duvall. For the fastball velocity. There's a base hit in the center field by Blandino. They're going to hold Jeanette. And the Reds have the bases loaded. Bases loaded, no score. Last of the second inning. And a tapper to first. Freeman will come to the plate. They get the out there. They won't throw it. Oh, wait a minute. They called the runner safe, saying the catcher never touched the plate. That will be reviewed. I don't know there's a whole lot the Braves can do about that. Nope. Clearly, he never came down with a foot on the plate. Base is loaded, still one out. And a dribbler back to the mound, barehanded. And the throw to first, not going to be in time. Everybody's safe. A ball has not left the infield. And the Reds have scored two runs in the inning. Winker flied out to center his first time up. Broken bat, fly ball, short left. Tagging at third, Blandino. Here comes a throw to the plate. It's offline. A sack fly RBI for Winker. And the Reds extend the lead to 3 0. 2 1 for Peraza. He's behind 0 and 2. To the right side, and it dribbles through a base hit. They're going to hold the runner at third. Base is loaded. And a bouncer at Albies, which will end the inning. So the Reds take advantage of a sloppy play at the plate. With the best record in the National League East, second best record in the National League, taking on the Cardinals. Gone swinging Flaherty. First eight batters of a night, five of them have struck out against Tyler Malley. It does. Bending down, trying to create a little bit of leverage by using his legs. You can see Tucker holding the mitt higher. Struck him out on a high fastball. And that's seven strikeouts now for Malley. You get on base, you get one swing of the bat, the game's tied. Strike three called Malley, a fastball at 95, maybe his best fastball all night. Chuck, I've just got to keep it right where it's at. This ball driven hard in a deep left field. It's just Fado's first home run. It is. Thirteen plate appearances since Joey's last home run. And he has number one here in 2018. Now Jeanette down the right field line. Will it stay fair? And it's off the fair pole. Home run. Scooter Jeanette. The Reds go back to back. Well, it appears the Reds offense has begun to show up for the party. So the first home run of the year for Votto. And now the first home run of the year for Scooter Jeanette. Strike three call number nine for Tyler Malik. That's just, here you go. Nothing but gas in that at bat. And that is ten strikeouts for Tyler Malik. Side in a 
six inning. And this is a guy that bats third in the lineup. And the no-hit bid and the shutout bid end with one swing in the bat. Freddie Freeman, a solo home run to right center field. The first hit of the night comes leading off the seventh inning, producing Atlanta's first run of the night. Uh, Freddie Freeman is great for a reason. He was sitting in the on-deck circle watching Tyler Malley punch out three consecutive, just blowing the ball by the last three hitters. All fastballs, you had to know Freeman was looking dead red the entire at bat. And now another base hit. That one shot in the left center field by Marquez. It'll be for extra bases. So no hits through the first six innings. And now the Braves go home or double to start the seventh inning. And we'll see some action. And this ball is clobbered in the left field. And that is another home run. And all of a sudden, it's a 5-3 to three ball game. Well, you try to work the same game plan with a veteran hitter. He left that one over the plate. Suzuki had to be thinking... Maybe this is what's going to happen back in the first, and he gets a breaking ball that he can handle, and he hammered it. Got to believe that's going to be all for Malley. Yep, here comes Jim Riggleman. So Malley punched out 11 in the first six innings, a professional career high for him. See him now. Smoked into right center field and played perfectly by Hamilton against the wall. Throw into second base and the runner is safe. But now all of a sudden, we got a problem. The tying run will come to the plate. And he comes in and walks the first batter he faces. So now the tying run is on base. Got him swinging for strike three. That was a nasty breaking ball there. Thinning, here it comes. And he's walked in a run. Line and it gets by Jeanette. One run scores. And the tying run scores. Seven seven game. Two pitch on Peraza. And a bouncing ball, a base hit in the left field. Might take Cowboy. That's another thing about baseball I have never understood for the life of me. Barraza running on the pitch, and he'll stay out of a double play. Nothing in one on Adam Duvall. That ball in the air to center field, and we're on our way to extra inning. 7 7, end of nine. Continual shots to win it, and he's done it again. And now he's done. Allows a hit, gets a strikeout, his second. And one line in the left field, a base hit by Suzuki. He is a two-out base runner, carrying the go-ahead run here in the 12th inning. Just being able to handle that type of action. And he's going to get you through. What a job by Hughes. Two and two thirds innings at short yes. of baseball. Three balls and a strike on Joey Votto. And nowhere near the strike zone is freed. And so Votto draws a walk to open up this 12th inning. There's a drive into right field. Is this enough to win the game? That's a big win for the Reds, especially after giving up the lead. Great comeback, great grit, great determination. I like it.